Well, just got done uh, about to save my run and thought that this would be a good time to talk about the H-Drop Gen 2 um, and what the post-workout kind of uh, the screens and all the data and what that all looks like. So without further ado, I'm uh, going to switch here and go into a recording off the phone where I've just finished up the workout um, and go through and share all the data so you can see what that looks like and what the app uh, shares with you after a workout. So let's do it. Okay, just going to walk through what finishing off an activity looks like. So... Uh, just finished up a run about seven miles. Uh, I don't know. What was that like an hour and something? Uh, mostly trails. Um, so we can see up top, you know, it's got the upper arm default. Um, and then it's got some information real quick on sodium loss, fluid loss, temp sensor. And then I'm actually going to uh, click on finish right now. We can see that it was uh, one hour and 20 minutes used. There we go. So let's click on finish. Do we want to up upload, you know, requires an active. Okay, we just got to make sure it turned on impaired. Yes, go ahead and do that. And then we can see it's processing and then uploading. And after this, we will get into the report. So we'll give it a minute here. Okay, so gives a quick little overview um, and just says, you know, here's the extra recovery amounts. You want to drink this much water, uh, potassium, sodium, and then um, we can go into analyze. So let's do that. Okay, so there we go, really breaks it down. We've got the total sweat loss, average per hour, um, estimated sodium loss, estimated potassium, um, average concentration, baseline, and then the hydration score, and it tells you the first sweat drop. Um, and then it goes in and gives you details on all of this as far as the sweat rate, um, and tells a little bit more. So it says my sweat rate is about 0.7 liters per hour, which falls in the medium range. Um, sodium concentration is lost as of lost 13, 50, uh, milligrams of sodium, um, and it says that it's very high when matched with the general levels. Um, and then temperature just says, you know, what is that saying here? It becomes crucial as you're getting quite warm. Definitely a hot day, first warm day of uh, early spring. Um, and then we go down into some charts. We got the fluid loss, sweat rate, um, and all of this has been seen on the charts. And then down here, we've got a recovery plan, exporting um, options, and a few other things. Uh, the one thing I'll touch on here is the drink matching. This is kind of interesting. So it just says, you know, here's your sodium concentration or your sweat sodium concentration. And then it gives you a graph. Um, unfortunately, I wish they'd put it at the top. Um, but down here, you can see the sodium concentration milligrams per liter on the bottom. And then they give all of, uh, or just many of the drinks, I guess. I'm sure there's more than this. Um, but you could try to match it or find one like that. So that was neat. Found a few um, I wasn't aware of. Um, and then you can just exit out of that. Uh, and then when you're done, you can um, just exit out of this and you can always go back into that. So that's it.